I saw this clip, right? I saw this clip on the interwebs again. And it reminded me of something because I've had this thing where I honestly do think I have like a list of people in my head who I think about if ever, when, when I eventually make it in whatever field I want to pursue or whatever I'm trying to do, when I'm, when I'm on, when I'm lit, when I'm clouded up, I have these people in my head who maybe, you know, have shitted on me or maybe have kind of turned the other way and kind of diminished or kind of dismissed me in general, or just not giving me any kind of whatever, whatever thing I think of rejection, whatever it may be. There might be a list of people in my head who I think about, but when I really, really think about it, I don't really remember who they are. They kind of like rep, they rep, they maybe are like a, it's like a person I can think of in my head is an amalgamation of different people, but I can't specifically think of somebody because in my head, actually, I have this really odd and bizarre way where if somebody crosses me or somebody does something to me that I don't like, or if somebody kind of dismisses me or something or counts me out, instead of me remembering them and putting them on a list of like, okay, I'm going to get revenge on you. I just kind of lead by my actions. Okay, cool. I'm going to show and prove with my actions and with my results and with my achievements and whatever it may be, accomplishments, all that sort of stuff. But I don't remember them specifically. But what I do have is the ability to delete them from my brain. So I won't ever remember who they are. It just would be like, so weird. I think it's a, it's a way of kind of like dealing with trauma, which is not really constructive, to be fair. You should probably deal with it properly, address it, speak to speak of it, speak to it. And put it out there in the open, but I do like most men and just kind of push it down and repress it. Or like most men, I do a fucking frag, or like most men, I do a fucking hard reset and I just delete the whole thing. So I don't remember. But oddly enough, if I see you and I, it all, always clicks back in and all the memories flood back. So I never kind of can be nice as Michael B. Jordan was in this video. Because if I see you again, I remember, oh yeah, shit, this is the person that did this and this to me. It's going to be a situation in real life, either you know, something will happen because, you know, I don't, I have sometimes the tendency to like see red and do some unforgivable, regrettable things sometimes. But in this regard, I think Michael B. Jordan deals the situation amazingly well. This is Michael B. Jordan at some film premiere. I think it's for his movie, I think Creed. And he's on a red carpet and he happens to bump into a lady who's a, now working as a hip hop radio presenter who used to kind of quote unquote bully him in high school. And she said one time, in an interview back in the day when Michael B. Jordan was coming up, that Michael B. Jordan was always corny. And I think she said, basically, when they grew up more, she was like, oh, yeah, he was the actor kid in class who was always, like, trying too hard to, like, do his lines, in front, like, whatever. She was hating, basically, because, you know, he sounded like every theatre kid you've ever been to school with. But then, of course, some years go by, and then Michael B. Jordan becomes Michael B. fucking Jordan. She's on the red carpet interviewing him at his fucking movie premiere, and he reminds her that he knows who she is. <laughs> and he also reminds her that he saw the clip of her recently where she said that he was corny. So this exchange is fucking beautiful because in my head, I wish I could be Michael B. Jordan. I wish I could have that grace to even stand there and speak to somebody like this or even remember who they are. But I think if I did remember who they are, that would be a domestic violence situation. That would be like, I might go to prison if I, if that was, if I was him. It wouldn't end this way. But the fact that Michael B. Jordan dealt with it in this way says a lot about him and his character. And the fact that I couldn't do it says a lot of things about my own character. Let's play the clip. Yeah, Michael B. Jordan, the director mm -hmm. and the star of Creed 3. And, you know, we know each other. Look at we the look. Way back all the way look to the look Chad Science in Newark, okay? The corny kid, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> I look did look not say her. that. Misquoted yeah. look for at the sure. So I heard it. Not hear me say I said he used to make fun of the name. But yeah, he is obviously killing things out here. Yeah, Michael How B embarrassing. Look at look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. The corny kid, right? Huh? The corny kid. Oh, I would have been tempted to fucking headbutt her like fucking I show speed headbutts his computer when he hits a certain amount of fucking subscribers. I would have died head sh head first into those big obnoxious fucking tom ford michael Kors sunglasses you know glasses that probably don't have prescription lenses in it and split her head open i would have lived i would have happily caught a charge for that one happily would have been in the mug in the mugshot fucking smiling like fucking neon if that was me absolutely loved it but again would i have remembered her if i if it happened is it constructive to keep a list of people that you hate that you want to do this to i don't know but best and best believe when I do finally get on, just telling you this as a 
PSA as a FYI. If I, when I get no if when I get on, speak fucking you know, speak with fucking intention. When I get on, if you hear about some crazy situation that went down with me, oh my god, this streamer got involved in a physical altercation. Believe it. And nine times out of ten, keep in mind that the person who I got involved with was probably somebody that shitted on me. That's what happened, okay? If ever you hear of me getting into a skirmish online or you hear of something or you see my mugshot somewhere, more than likely, it's because of a situation like this. You know? I met somebody who said something maybe in passing or maybe left me on scene or something and I saw them in real life and they tried to be buddy-buddy and say, oh my God, I see you, man. You're doing your thing, man. Yeah, I'm just trying to be like you. And I just went fucking, you know, I went fucking, what you call it? I went Khabib against Conor, Conor that time when he jumped into the crowd. I just went nuts. I went fucking full Super Saiyan because I don't think I could do what Michael B. Jordan did here. He was very graceful. He was very grown up, very gracious and reminded her, I'm the corny kid, right? And she was stuttering all over the place. One more time. Yeah, Michael B. Jordan, the director and the star of Creed 3. And, you know, we know each other. We go way back all the way to Chad Science in Newark, okay? The corny kid, right? <laughs> no, I did not say that. Misquoted, for sure. No, you did not hear me say that. I said we used to make fun of the name. What's but, up? But, yeah, he is obviously yeah. killing things out. Yo, big up Young Old Vibes. We'll bail you with Super Chats. <laughs> <laughs> <Da -ding! laughs> young old vibes head um <laughs> ah imagine fucking stream labs alerts going off in the fucking police or in, <laughs> in the police office that's how they get me out no no you have to go to my stream labs streamlabs.com forward slash agostino 079 yeah yeah that's why <laughs> <laughs> no, no, click the link at the top of my stream super chat thing. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me just link my PayPal. Can I, just, can I link my PayPal to this? Can I? <laughs> oh, man. Honestly, I live for this day, but I don't also. Because again, I, I, I think part of the sick thing about doing your own thing and kind of, you know, persevering despite people counting you out is not remembering them. It's just keeping, you know, doing your thing and just letting your fucking action speak, letting the results of your work speak and kind of getting people back, you know, having your revenge with your success because, you know, dwelling on those things, it's bad. But I also think it's really bad that I have this ability to legitimately delete people from my brain to the point where I don't remember who they are until I see them in person. You know, then I'm like, oh yeah, shit, that's that person. You know what I mean? But before that, I've never thought about them in the slightest, never crossed my mind ever. And then suddenly when you see them, all those thoughts come flushing back in your brain. And you're like, you know what? I want to K-I-L-L-U right now. Um, <laughs> it's bad to say that, but again, this is a podcast where I like to be honest. I like to give you my real opinion on things. And that is exactly how I'd react. So if you did hear, or if you do hear of a story of me, you know, getting into some trouble, maybe doing some time behind bars over some physical altercation. Best believe the reason why it happened is because that person shit on me. Okay, cool. <laughs>